honest, my son was kind of unexpected, and uh, Dalton came along, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, he's been the biggest blessing ever, but uh, when you go from not being prepared, not even planning for a child, to, hey, you're pregnant, and you want to do what's best and, and raise a good young leader for the world, you really have to buckle down and say, what, what can I do now uh, before they're even born to help them succeed? So um, what's interesting is that uh, I started out not having any doctor, not having any resources, and, and I really started investigating and, and found the resources that I needed for, for me, from doctors and healthcare and childcare and uh, breastfeeding and parental classes. Several years ago, a child who maybe had some behavioral issues or a parent who was really unsure what to do probably would have ended up in the ER or in their primary care doctor's office and they may have gotten some different types of support or they may not have. However, today what we really know is that our physicians are so good at being able to identify some of those behavioral challenges and know exactly where to refer that parent and that child to go get some help. Health integration is really important. This is about taking care of the mind and the body and making sure that they're connected. And um, part of that is having um, strong parenting skills to raise a child who's healthy and both, both emotionally and physically. Part of it is having really good health care and access to health care. And part of it is really allowing kids to be kids and to be able to play and, and have fun. That's how they learn at this age. As a parent, how you're going to be affected by the early childhood councils is the collaborative work that's taking place among the different agencies serving children and youth in this community. There's a lot of great resources here in town, but the hard part is finding them and knowing where to look. Previously in Mesa County, we didn't integrate health as well as what we could have, meaning if I went to my pediatrician, that if my child was having some behavior issues, that there may not be a behavioral specialist available to meet with the family and have it be a, a seamless system. And now Mesa County has really enhanced that particular transition of care. It's scary. It's, it's scary to just be a new mom and to find out that you've got a little life inside you. And uh, the one thing I can say is do what's best for you, do what's best for your, for your child, and, and dig for information. Don't let anybody tell you that that's not going to work for you or that that's not allowed or that the, find, what, find the information and, and find a way. I would encourage, even if people don't have kids, to get involved in a program that encourages and enriches children somehow, some way in their community. There's tons of mentoring programs, there's classes that you can teach because everybody has knowledge that they can share. I just, I really challenge everybody to get involved in their community and uh, provide the right resources for our kids so that we can have a great world.